You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Water Cooler Edit with My Beach. On this episode, we'll be talking about the recent awards that we had, and of course, my special guest here today, Saha Khan, will tell us more about the extravagant event that we had. And it honestly feels like Saha that we only had it yesterday. It does. It does feel like that. And we are still receiving a lot of um, feedback from clients as well. And they also feel like, you know, it's just like a couple of days ago, but everyone's very happy about them. It was it was such an incredible evening. I mean, it was just down the road. So it's very lucky for us that we're literally five minutes away. Of course, it was at the Jumeirah Emirates Towers on the, the terrace. Yes. Correct? Yeah. It was a magnificent view of the Dubai skyline for a start, just situated just behind Sheikh Zayed Road, which always offers breathtaking views. Uh, but of course, it was filled with some of the best in the industry. It was. Um, we had all the all of the you know um, cream of uh, Dubai, you know the luxury real estate, uh, the industry, everyone, the who's who of the industry was there. Um, so it was it was a fabulously planned event. Um, yes, like you said, the the skyline looked beautiful. We have some of the landmarks there, so it was just an absolutely fantastic venue. So if I'm not mistaken, we had what was it somewhere close to. It's a big number, and I always forget because it's just, it's just so many awards that we gave out that night. It was a close, it was over forty awards that we had. It was actually over fifty. See, 50, fifty awards, awards. over fifty, and yeah. that's not including the six that we gave as well for International Women's Day, is it? It includes that, so it was around fifty-four. Okay. If if, uh, if we are to be exact, but um, yeah, it was a lot of awards to be um, you know handed out, and we had to plan it the way in a way that you know the the night would still be young when we finished. So fifty four awards went to many different agencies here, scattered across the United Arab Emirates for real estate agents in Abu Dhabi, Ajman, uh, Sharjah. Russell Khema, Dubai as well. And not just the massive ones that you everybody knows about, of course, we also have the smaller ones, you know, the up and coming agencies that have really started to make a name for themselves. A few uh, things about how we planned this and why we were very careful uh, that we included all sorts of agencies, big and small, um, to be recognized over there. And that's why we had three different categories for each, uh, you know, uh, three different segments to each category, you know, so we had the boutique category and then we had the SME and then the enterprise so that we can reward and recognize the big agencies, but the the smaller, you know, the the newer agencies, the the rookies in the market should not feel neglected or ignored. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of similar, I guess you could say, to the car market because every kind of week even every day a new agency is popping up somewhere yeah. and they're becoming big players and property in the united Arab Emirates is a huge market you know everywhere you go there is property for sale whether it be um luxury apartments affordable housing it's available and again this event was to bring the best of the best all together in one convenient location one interesting thing that for me that really stood out was when i was talking and interviewing a few of the clients that had won was the divide between men and women in the uh, real estate industry. Now, I was perplexed of how many women there are compared to men. There's a lot more women in the real estate industry compared to men, you know, and it's, it's amazing. I think the split would be um, somewhat similar. Um, I wouldn't say there are more women than men, but there's a good number of women in the real estate industry. And I think the the credit goes to the city uh, and the country, honestly. Um, and after the awards, and actually on the day of the awards, um, we also had uh, Women's Day, right? So it was the same day. Um, and we had a session over here in uh, Bayut and Depizel. Um, and we were actually discussing how fortunate all of us are over here uh, in this country, because, you know, a lot of the struggles that other countries may have when it comes to women empowerment and, you know, uh, women in the professional, um, you know, uh, space. Um, but we don't face a lot of that over here. There's not much, many challenges, especially in the industry that we are in. Um, I think so, you know, kudos to this country, uh, the visionary leaders. I think we're in a fantastic space to be. Um, and yes, referring to the event as well, there was a fabulous, uh, you know, um, uh, inclusion from both genders. And it was really nice to see everyone dressed up and, you know, all men and women in their, uh, you know, uh, best attire. And of course, it wasn't just about the agencies. It was also about the people's choice as well. Here at Beirut, we gave, here at Beirut and Abyssal, we gave the opportunity to you, the viewers, to choose who you thought were the best 
in the industry, whether it be the agency as a whole or as an agent, we gave you the choice. And again, we had over 50,000 people register their interest to vote. The amount of people that engaged with us over this period was absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's amazing to think, you know, when I think of property, property for me is something that you think of later on in life. It's kind of something that you build up towards buying. Mm -hmm. But it seems to be nowadays it's becoming more and more accessible for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, a lot more people are now starting to think, okay, you know, I'm going to, I am I know this agency, I know this agent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to already start chatting with them, trying to figure out if I'm going to buy property now, should I wait a year or so as well? And this is what I find quite interesting in the market now as well, that things are changing to be even more readily available. You know, if I look at how old I am now, if I look back 10 years ago, I wasn't even thinking about buying property, you know, but we learned from people engaging with us that age is just a number. You know, we had all sorts of people uh, voting. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. It's uh, we don't even talk about age when it comes to property buying anymore, honestly, um, because you know, you look at the trends, you know, how the market has fared, especially for this region. And you talk to people who invested in property, off-plan properties, uh, primary market, secondary market. Um, and when they bought like 10 years ago or five years ago, they're they're bearing the fruits of, you know, their their investment now. So it's it's incredible to see. And even right now with the with the with the way market is progressing, it's it's phenomenal to see how, and especially in this region, because you know, we're looking at the global uh, you know, uh industry real estate industry. Uh, as well but in comparison with what's happening in the world i think we are progressing at a rate that's uh that's just unheard of it's it's phenomenal it really is um i mean i could go back to stories where i try to do this myself and every year i kind of look at where i want to buy property within mm -hmm. the emirates and usually i look at northern emirates you know sort of use it as a either a staycation area or somewhere to rent out short term but then there are so many properties that kind of pop up here and there and literally it seems to be as i said before Every day, something new pops up. You know, if you look at just over the road, there's two new buildings that are going to be popping up quite soon. Yeah, yeah. Thinking, okay, that's great. I'll live right next to the office. I could literally walk. Yeah. <laughs> You know? I think it's interesting because also if you have some sort of capital that you want to invest in, right, and there's so much happening in the city and so many attractive options that you actually get confused on, okay, what do I do, right? Where do I invest? Because we have so many incredible developers. We also have that. We also had that as a category for people's choice the, this time of, uh, you know, our awards, um, which was also great to see. And people's choice is very important. I think it's an important factor because all of these agencies are ranked and rated because of those people, right? I mean, it's it's after all, at the end of the day, it's the people who are investing in these properties and using these agencies or the developers when they go for off plan. Um, so it was in, in very important for us to hear them out, you know, through this voting system. Exactly. You know, and it's always nice to get the people's opinion on who is performing the best. Yes, we have our internal criteria, but hearing from people makes it that much more special when you win. Now, of course, during the evening, as Saha mentioned before, we awarded the influential women in the industry, and we had no less than six that were awarded. Two of them actually came back again because they were also agents of the year or they were agency of the year, uh, even true check champions. So it was nice to see the same people kind of, you know, performing at their utmost best, even if, for example, they might not be in the biggest company. You know, they might have not have that many staff, you know, but they are a tight knit bunch and they really work hard to be the best of the best. It's it's as simple as that, um, Chris. That, you know, and I was honestly, Fibba and myself, I'm sure I can speak for her over here as well. We were really honored to be amongst those women and other women in the, in the audience as well. Um, because we can see, and it shows, um, because even when we were looking at the criteria, how they they put in their the, the the full effort and you know they put in their best foot forward. Even when we speak with them or talk to them about different things, you know, with different segments that we have, they're always open to you know some sort of uh, conversation and you know a debate. And it's it's really uh, refreshing to be in that in that crowd and you know to know uh, these incredible women. I think it's 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 really commendable. And then, of course, they all do it on a highly professional level as well, which makes it even better. Yeah. So the burning question now, Sahar, is because you're probably the best person that I can ask this next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it going to be bigger? Is it going to be better? Is it going to be more? 
Um, so I was discussing this with the team and um, we already have 54 awards, like I said. Um, so it is 100% going to be better. Uh, that I can say for sure. Um, we are looking at, you know, and because every time we have done something, we've done it at a different venue, you know. So it's it's also, you know, you get a little bit limited when you are uh, sourcing for venues. Uh, a lot of venues don't offer uh, the kind of space that you're looking for when there's a lot a lot of more people. Uh, but, um, but, you know, I won't give much away. The team has already started working on next year's awards. But um, um, so, yeah, just stay tuned and wait for next year because 54 awards equates to what close to 400 if not 500 people yeah. so if, yeah. if we double that if we make it 108 awards that's close to a thousand people <laughs> where are we going to host that yeah because we we even this time around we wanted to make sure all of our finalists were were invited and it was incredible to see because we had a hundred percent turnout it is I don't think I've seen any event where there are no 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 shows at all. So it's um, it was really nice to see that everyone came, everyone was looking forward to the event. Um, and um, yeah, next year it's uh, like I said, it's hundred percent going to be better. Um, not I don't know about bigger, but we will probably introduce maybe a few more categories for people's choice. Uh, so you never know. Yeah. So there might be that exclusivity now part of it too. Now, before we go, I've got one last question. I know I said the burning question, it was next year, but Saha, I really want to ask you, what's the criteria for the agencies or the agents and even, well, people's choice, we understand it's how many votes that they've received, but for the other categories, how does it work? How does it work? So we have a lot of different things for agents category as well as agencies. You know, uh, we have different systems. Uh, we have different types of uh, things that we look at when it comes to agencies and agents, uh, particularly true check that we have, you know, for the agents and agencies, also the number of uh, true checks. But honestly, what I want to uh, mention over here is how fair the whole system is and how we just look at agencies who are performing the best. Uh, we spoke with a few of the winners and then we also spoke with a few finalists who were just amazed at our professionalism when it comes to narrowing down, down and shortlisting all of these agencies. Um, but I also want to give this credit to the real estate industry and, and let them know that, you know, their, um, their performance and their efforts are not just recognized in this manner. We also appreciate how they also take these things very seriously for the sake of their clients and not just run after recognition and awards. Um, so it's, it, we're all in this together. We're trying to elevate the industry uh, for our customers. See, so the awards are completely fair. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Water Cooler Edit with my Bayut. Saha, thank you so much for joining us as well. If you want to learn any more about the amazing event that we've just had, you can check out all the pictures, the interviews, and everything like that on the My Bayut blog, which is, of course, bayut.com forward slash my Bayut. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit with Chris and Rich.